Hello and welcome to PM Square's tutorial on building a forecast plan within IBM Planning Analytics. It's time to create a forecast for the coming year. We need a forecasting process that users understand and is structured to ensure the forecast process starts and finishes on time. We are going to build our forecast process within Planning Analytics workspace using a plan. A plan is an application within Planning Analytics designed for guiding processes that require scheduled tasks and workflow sequences. Plans can contain reports, data entry forms, schedules, and monitoring tools, all to facilitate the processing of budgets and forecasts. Our forecast is updated quarterly, and the update should begin after each quarter's general ledger closing. The FPNA department is asking that the workflow be scheduled, monitored, and automated where possible. They also want to approve forecasts as they are completed. We already have books and views in Planning Analytics workspace that will be used to contribute and report on the forecast. The plan will guide users directly to the books and views they will need to complete their forecasts. The plan will also include submission requirements and deadlines. Let's begin building the forecast plan. From the Planning Analytics homepage, I want to click on Applications and Plans, then click Create. Select plan, and the Create a Plan page opens to the Plan Details section. The first thing I want to do here is name the plan. A name is required to add a plan. Next, I'm going to add a description, which is not required. Next thing I want to do is I want to upload a file. I have a Word document that contains the guidelines for the 2024 forecast that I want to make available to the plan users. So I'm going to click on drag and drop files here and navigate to my guidelines. And then I'm going to select the 2024 forecast guidelines and click open. Now the 2024 forecast guideline document has been uploaded and users will see a link when they open the plan from which I can download this document. The next thing I want to do is go to image. And here I can select an image that will serve as the thumbnail for the plan. So I'll navigate to images. I'm going to select the PM Square logo deck and then click open. Now my image has been uploaded to my plan. Next, I want to go to co-owners. Co-owners are users who will have full control of the plan and can modify any aspect of the plan. Note that administrators are a co-owner by default and cannot be removed. Next, I want to select myself and two other users as co-owners, then click Create. So notice that my 2024 forecast guidelines link is here. So the next thing I want to do is add tasks. To add a task, I'll go to the Add Task button here in the upper right-hand corner. And the Task Details section opens up. First thing I need to do is add a task name, which is a requirement. Call it First Quarter Forecast. You can add a description here, which is not required. Go ahead and do that. Next, I want to add a start date. And I want the start date to be January 15th of 2024. I want the users to submit the data upon completion of the task. So I'm going to leave this at yes to require submission. Next, I want to set a due date for this task to be completed on January 31st, of 2024. Uh, like the plan, each task can have a set of files uploaded to it. I have a Word document with the guidelines for the first quarter of the 2024 forecast. So I want to make that available to users. So I'm going to click here, navigate to my first quarter guidelines document, click it, click open, and the file is uploaded. Now when users open this task, they can see a link to this document and download it from there. Next, I want to go to the Assets. 
And here I'm going to select Planning Analytics Books from Views. And I've already got a 2024 forecast book set up. So I'm going to select it. It goes into the selected panel. We can turn on past context, which essentially synchronizes between the assets that you choose here. And you will need to turn on synchronization for the individual assets for this to work. Next, I want to go to contributors. And these are the user groups that will have access to the plan. I only want the finance group to have access to this task. And they're in the selected panel now. Next, go to approvers. And these are the groups that I want to approve what the finance group enters. So I'm going to click on this drop down button and select forecast approvers. And forecast approvers will be the approvers for the contributors for this task. So with that, you click Add Tasks to complete the task. So our first task has been added, and we are back in edit mode of the 2024 forecast plan. And we can see some information about the task we just added. Notice here that we have an alert, and that is because we set a due date for this task to be in January of 2024, and this video is recorded in March of 2024. So this task is already past due. Also, you can see that we can see the users assigned to this plan, the admin, myself, and two other users. I can add in my next task by clicking the Add Task button. However, I want to duplicate this task to start my next one. So we'll go to the Tasks tab, and then I'm going to click the action button over here and click duplicate task. When I duplicate a task, certain things will come over and certain things will be different. The description will be slightly different and I definitely want to edit this task. So the purpose of this task is going to be to indicate when the books have closed for the first quarter. So we'll call this first quarter geo closing. Change our description. And I won't have a task dependency. There will not be a start date. I will not require any submissions. So we'll set that to no. And my due date for this will be April 10th. We normally close our books on the 10th of the month following a quarter. So the next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this first quarter guidelines because we don't need any document associated with this task. And we won't have any assets associated with this task. So I'll move our 2024 forecast books. And the only people responsible for setting this task will be our forecast approvers. They will be the one to set this task as complete. I'll click Save. I can add in my next task by clicking the Add Task button. However, I want to duplicate this task to start my next one. So we'll go to the Task tab, and then I'm going to click the Action button over here, and Click Duplicate Task. To duplicate a task, certain things will come over and certain things will be different. The description will be slightly different, and I definitely want to edit this task. So the purpose of this task is going to be to indicate when the books have closed for the first quarter. So we'll call this First Quarter Geo Closing. Change our description. And I won't have a task dependency. There will not be a start date. I will not require any submissions, so we'll set that to no. And my due date for this will be April 10th. We normally close our books on the 10th of the month following a quarter. 
So the next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this first quarter guidelines because we don't need any document associated with this task. And we won't have any assets associated with this task. So I'll move our 2024 forecast books. And the only people responsible for setting this task will be our forecast approvers. They will be the one to set this task as complete. I'll click Save. The next task I want to create will be a duplicate of the first quarter forecast task again. So I'll click on Duplicate Task. And this task will be our second quarter forecast task. So we'll go to Edit Task. And we want to change the name of this to second quarter forecast. We also want to change this to our second quarter guidelines. So I'll go to our second quarter guidelines, select it. And they're uploaded and then this, again, this link will be available to users for the second quarter. All right, I want to set a task dependency. So I'm going to select my first quarter closing. So I want this task to open when the first quarter GL closing is complete. And my start date for this will be the week following the quarter closing. So I'll select April 15th for the start date. And then for the due date, Will be April 22nd the following week. I do want to require submissions here, so we'll leave that the same. And for assets, we'll keep that the same also. This will be for the 2024 forecast again. Contributors, we'll keep that as the same. And then approvers, we we'll want to keep that the same also. So having duplicated this first quarter task makes it a lot easier to set up the second quarter task. We'll click Save to complete. After completing the task for the second quarter forecast, I went ahead and added the remaining tasks to complete the plan for the 2024 forecast. So if I go to the Overview tab, I can see my list of 2024 forecast tasks and their timelines. For the timeline, I can change this from months to weeks to view the timeline in weeks. I can change the time period I'm viewing in the timeline from like seven days, last 30 days. I'm going to click next three months and we'll see March, April, and May. Because right now we are in March of 2024, so I'm seeing those next three months. I can also filter the timeline on the status. And I also can filter by the task name. So if I type a one here, you can see just the first quarter GL closing for the next three months. Type a two, you can see the second quarter forecast timeline for the next three months. Clear this, change this back to default. Now let's go to the workflow tab where I can see a visualization of our task and the task dependencies. So looking at our second quarter forecast, I can see a task dependency of the first quarter jail closing. So when that is complete, then the second quarter forecast will open. Our third quarter forecast has two dependencies, the first and second quarter GL closings. And then our fourth quarter forecast has three task dependencies, first, second, and third quarter GL closings. I can rearrange these tasks as I need to, so I can just drag them around and move them. However, we need to make this more visually appealing. Also here, I can add a new task, then add the details later. 
So if I click on add new task, I can only add task name, call this end of year review. Enter to add the task. This will take just a few seconds. If I click on the new task, I can either edit it or remove it. And if I click remove, it deletes the task. If I click on edit, I go to the task details panel where I can update this task any way I need to. I'm not going to make any changes here. I'm going to click cancel. And another thing I can do here is I can drag this end of year review task over here in my workflow area. And then I can add a dependency here. So now my dependency is that the fourth quarter forecast will need to complete before my end of year review will start. If I click on the end of year review, I can click on edit or remove. Edit will take me back to the task details panel. If I click on remove, it doesn't delete the task. It only removes it from my workflow and it will go back here. Next thing I want to do is go to announcements. And if I want to add an announcement to the plan, I can click create then add my text. The announcement, this will be the second quarter forecast is due April 15th. And I'll also upload a file here if we need to have a document to go with this announcement. In this case, I don't, so I'm going to click Create. And my announcement is added. Okay, with the announcement in place, we are now finished with the plan. The first thing I want to do is set the plan status to active. That's going to take a few seconds. Next, I want to open the tasks. And I'm going to set this first quarter GL closing to active. And I have to have at least one task active in order for a user to open the plan. Now I'm going to set the second quarter forecast task to active. That will also take a couple of seconds. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to close out of edit mode. And I want to open the plan as a user. I'm signed on as an admin, so I will be able to see everything. So I can do it one of three ways. I can click on the name of the plan, or I can click on this checkbox and open up this action bar and click open here or I can click on the action button and click open. With the forecast plan open, I can see the forecast name, the description. I can see my link to the forecast guidelines document, which I can download from here. I can see the announcement we just set up. And if I click here, I can see all the announcements that exist for this plan. We only have the one. I can also see the number of tasks that are active. In this case, we have the second quarter forecast task and the first quarter GL closing task. As I look at this GL closing task, I have the opportunity to click complete. And I can do this on behalf of the forecast approvers group, which is the only group that has access to this task. I can add comments to support my reasons for completing the task. And I can also upload files to further support my reasons for completing the task. Click complete to complete the task. Next, we can look at the second quarter forecast task. And here, after entering my data, I can click submit and the submit task panel opens up and I can submit on behalf of the finance group, which is the only group that has access to this task. 
I can also add comments to support my submission, and I can upload files to further support my submission. And to complete this, I just click Submit. Thanks for watching this video on building a plan in IBM Planning Analytics. Look for more videos at pmsquare.com forward slash planning dash analytics.